Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Text Chainsaw Massacre of the Game video. Once again, sorry about being late, still out of town, but I will be back tomorrow, which is good news because a brand new update is coming out tomorrow on November 7th. Now, it's not a huge update. It's a small patch, but there are a few key changes in here that could prove to be very, very effective, at least for the long term of the game. So let's go ahead and dive right into these patch notes. First of all, fix Nicotera Leatherface's interaction audio. We have fixed an issue where Nicotera Leatherface's audio defaulted back to the original chainsaw sound during scripted interactions. And on top of that, they fixed Nicotera Leatherface's chainsaw dance audio where it was doing the same thing. It was the original audio sound and not that brand new sound that was a part of the DLC. Now, not a huge change here, but it's nice that this is fixed. You pay $16 for a DLC and the sound wasn't right. So glad they got that fixed. It's good to see. But let's move on to the juicy stuff. This is a big one right here. Fix gas station car exploit. We have fixed an exploit where players could crouch into the blue car near the tool shed on the gas station map. Players will no longer be able to enter the car. This car was really bad because if you had a Johnny and a cook on the team who are unable to crouch, you could not get to a victim who was hiding inside of the car. So you would have players that would go hide in there and you could never get to them unless you were a hitchhiker or a sissy. So, so definitely a much needed fix. I'm glad it's finally here. Fixed pixelated textures. We fixed an issue causing textures on skins to not load properly on some platforms. Never noticed this, but hey, another welcome fix. And now the juicy stuff that I think is actually going to be pretty damn important for the long term. Change player levels in lobbies. Player levels will now be hidden in lobbies and change party icons in lobbies. Players who are partied up will no longer display party icons in lobbies. Party icon is no longer displayed in the player list, scoreboard, and match results. Now, what they're trying to do with these changes is to help with the lobby dodging problem that this game has where a family member leaves every single time and you're stuck waiting for another family member to join, and often they don't. It happens on the victim side too, of course, but it's worse with family because there's not enough people queuing. So one person leaves on family and you're lucky to get another player before the countdown timer is at zero and the whole lobby ends. Now this will not fix all the lobby dodging issues, right? There are people still dodging for maps, right? They don't go to the map that they like or Maybe they didn't get the character that they chose. However, I think a good portion of lobby dodging is a result of going into players that are not close in level, or you see a full squad for family or a full squad for victim, and you just dodge them completely because you think you're going to lose. Now, you won't be able to tell if somebody's in the party, and you won't be able to tell if they're a high level. I think that's seriously going to help with a lot of lobby dodging issues. Now, of course, hiding the map could also help with lobby dodging, but you can't really hide the map because you make loadouts based on what map you're playing on, and that should still be a thing. It's a strategy. You shouldn't be limited and not be able to see the map just because people are dodging so much. And now, ideally, once a new map comes out, which now one has been announced, that should help a little bit with lobby dodging too because you just have one more map in the mix as well. I'm all for this, right? We all want more content, but I think the biggest issue of the game right now was that lobby dodging element if you're playing victim, there was a lot of times where you could not get a game for 20, 30 minutes because the dodging was so bad. Hopefully this patch leads to a substantial change when it comes to lobby dodging and we see a whole lot less of it, but we'll find out tomorrow. And of course, in the afternoon, at some point, afternoon, evening, I will be live streaming. And we'll find out right away just how much this change actually affects lobby dodging. Now, of course, there are still a lot of things that need to be addressed and a lot of things they need to fix. And they know that. And they also said to keep your eye out for a new Muerto Times, which should give details on an upcoming update as well. So they're still doing fixes. Things are happening. Got DLC announced, a new patch. I like this. It's been a good, like, five days. We're on the grind. I'm excited to see it. TCM, I hope has a very, very long life. But that's my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. But that's going to wrap this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.